Hello and welcome to this micro learning video on test execution in SAP Solution Manager 7.2. My name is Shruti and I am a focus advisor with the Application Lifecycle Management Value Map. In this video, we will take a look at how a tester can execute the test cases that was planned by the test manager. As a tester, I will be able to see the test packages and test cases assigned for to me for testing by going to the tester worklist. Here I can see the list of all packages assigned to me as well as notice which ones are ready for testing. If I choose the test package, I will be able to expand and see the test cases assigned to this. From this example, you can see the test document create quotation is assigned to my user. And is ready to test. This test package also contains another test case which is assigned to a different user and it cannot be tested until the first test case is completed. Also the test case assigned to me is a manual test document. Now choose the test case and click on run. You can change the execution state to being processed while performing the uh, steps in the manual test case. You can also start test execution to measure the amount of time it takes to actually perform the test case and then stop the test execution. Once you are satisfied with the results, you can attach uh, attachments or test notes as well as results. If there are any defects, defects can be raised from here. Once the testing is completed, you can update the execution status with the appropriate status. Assuming that the test was executed successfully, I will save the result of the manual test case to be a successful execution. Coming back to the tester work list, I will refresh the screen and here you can see that the test execution is now successful. And after refreshing the next test case, you can see now that it is ready to be tested after the first test case has been successfully passed. I will now log on to the Solution Manager system with this user ID to demonstrate the execution of this automated test case. I have now logged into the Solution Manager system with the other testing user. With this user, I can see that I have uh, one test case assigned to me in this test package and it is ready for testing. This is an automated test case. So with the automated uh, test case, it is possible to execute it immediately or schedule this to be executed later. For the purpose of this demo, I will run the automated test case immediately.
the script is now running in the background. And has ended with an error. The report is getting generated. The report has been generated and the execution status is determined to be failed. Now going back to the work list, we'll refresh the screen. You can see now that the execution has failed. It is now possible to create a defect and assign this to the appropriate person to uh, be fixed. You can provide in uh, attachments and other descriptions as required. Then create a defect. After the defect was created, um, if you come back to the tester work list, you can see that under all open defects, there is one um, defect created. This can also be seen on the overall um, test suite. In this test suite overview, you can have a look at all the test plans uh, that were created and get information on the test cases statuses as well as information on the test execution. Uh, the test case that was assigned to this user is, has failed and hence you can see that um, my test case's per status is all in errors. And you can also see that there is an open defect and open test case. With this, we come to the end of our test execution in SAP Solution Manager 7.2. Thank you for your time. And I will meet you again in our next microlearning series. Thank you.